Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Vega and I'm back in the cut with another video. So, um, I look weird. <laughs> I look weird about eyebrows, but okay. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. Well, I've talked to you guys about assumptions that people have about colored people, as you can tell by the title. So, before we get into this video, make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe to the channel. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I just want to talk about assumptions that people have about colored people. Um, so, these assumptions, ne? Hold on, guys. Um, these assumptions are, 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 are ones that people came up to me personally and they said these thing, things, things. <laughs> they said these things or asked these things. So I am going to talk to you guys about that. Okay. So <laughs> it's so weird. But let's do it. Let's get into it. Um, the first assumption that people assume, I feel like this is the most popular assumption that people have about colored people, is the fact that we are very aggressive and we're always ready to throw hands, which is, <laughs> which is not true guys, shame. I feel like, um, it's not that we're aggressive or we're always ready to fight, it's just don't push buttons that you're not supposed to push and then we're gonna be good but I feel like that applies to everyone everyone has buttons that you don't push and that's how you stay respectful you know but I think this is the reason why I think um, people feel like that we are aggressive and we always ready to fight whatever I think it's because it's the way that we speak and things that we say and the slang that we use, I feel like, because there's, there's some kind of aggression in the way that we speak. Um, so I feel like people might think that we are very aggressive and we're always ready to fight, you know, because of the slang that we use. Um, when somebody cusses you out in English, nah, it's different. Like, you're going to feel different when somebody cusses you out in Afrikaans. Like, you're just going to get more, more touched, I feel like. So I think that's the reason why. <laughs> I think that's the reason why people think that we are aggressive and stuff just because of the way that we speak and our slang and stuff because we use words that doesn't really make sense to people but it makes sense to us so yeah <laughs> but yeah guys that's not true we're not aggressive we're not always ready to throw hands and stuff um but we're very chill people you know like really very chill people we're very fun to hang around. Like, I feel like we're always, like, so humorous and, you know. But there's a certain level of tolerance that colored people have. I'm not going to lie. But we're really nice people. You know, you should get to know us and you'll figure out that, okay, shit, we're really cool. And people also think that we're all the same for some reason. We are the same um, culture-wise, and you know, it's colored, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. Does this look good in camera or no? I feel like where we differ the most is probably our accent. So we all have different accents, which is like <laughs> a very unique thing. It's a very crazy thing that we all colored, but we all have different accents, you know. Um, Um, colored people from the Western Cape, like Cape Colors or whatever, they have a certain type of accent. Like you can so much hear in the way that they speak that they're from Cape Town, right? Or from the Western Cape area. And then people, colored people from the Northern Cape have a certain type of accent. And, you know, we just have different accents. We're not all the same. I personally feel like I don't have an accent. But if somebody from Cape Town was to meet me, right, and you know how I speak, like when we speak Afrikaans especially, um, that person would tell me, you have an accent. And I would be like, no, I don't have an accent. 
you have an accent <laughs> you know cuz western cape colors cape colors people in the western cape continent they have very strong accents so another thing that people think might think is that we are very rough and um it's almost the same as when they say that we always ready to throw hands and stuff but <laughs> we're not rough you know what i'm saying like the colored areas let me tell you one thing about let's say in every place there's a colored area right and i've had so many people like in high school especially when i was in high school they would say to me that they scared to come to the colored area and i'm like why are you scared that is gonna happen and like yo why did they want to fight me and i'm like i don't know they're just scared that colored people are gonna want to fight them or something and that's so nonsense but um we're not rough like i said we all have buttons that you don't push and if if you're gonna push my button i'm gonna flop but that that applies to everyone that's not really like a race thing it applies to everyone you know this is not an assumption but um this is something that like really kind of triggered me irritated me because there was this one girl in high school nah. <laughs> she came up to me one time um the thing is now nah, when i was in high school people were very fascinated by my hair i don't know why but some some kids were very fascinated by my hair and um this girl came up to me and she was like she was like touching my hair and looking at my hair and stuff and she and then she said um you don't have colored hair <laughs> and i was like i don't have colored hair what what is what what does that even mean what does that even mean you know i don't have colored hair like I was very confused because in my mind I'm thinking to find colored hair though because just like everybody else we all have different textures of hair and we all like not all colors have khlada hara let's just you know what I'm saying so and that's all it all depends on like your forefathers like your ancestors and what not some colors have parents with khlada hara so that's why they have right and then some don't because of the ancestors just like south africa is a diverse country it's like a melting pot of all different cultures as is gala people are a melting pot of different races and bloodlines and dna running in our blood it's not necessarily like oh my gosh you don't have colored hair like define colored hair i'm confused like we all have different textures of hair we all have different skin types we all have different complexions just like everybody else period okay it's not a colored thing i feel like it's a human thing i'm asking people on my whatsapp what um assumptions they have they might have colored people let's see what they say <laughs> i'm excited about this i'm gonna put on more mascara because i feel like it and i can <laughs> if you cheat on them they hit with anything they see but they got real love that's true we got real love though um they provocative as hell <laughs> i am dead wow <laughs> we are provocative imagine guys nah and then she also said rude we're not rough we're really not rough i think it's just the way that we speak man guys that makes us rough okay probably our actions as well um but obviously you have to think though this is the thing when you say color people are rough man, you always want to fight you have to ask yourself why is that person fighting with that person <clears throat> because there's obviously a reason you know what i'm saying it's not about the it's not about the reaction it's about the action like what caused that person to want to throw hands you know what i'm saying so it's not like no one will be fighting out of the blue and be rough out of blue be rude you know what i'm saying we just don't like getting triggered <laughs> that's the thing let me let me let me listen to this one 
she's like um, a, a, a muy rough, always sway and um, we violent and then she said we love life to the fullest which is true that assumption is true thank you for that one we love life to the fullest and we don't care what people say about us and she also added though if people have an opinion <laughs> what what did she say something about um wait 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 um, i feel like myself i live their life to they really don't care what other people think and as soon as somebody has an opinion about them Avele, they they steer them <laughs> did you hear that you guys like as soon as somebody has an opinion about it they steer them those assumptions are really funny i really laughed so hard but <laughs> to those of you guys that responded i don't know if you all wanna um if you guys want me to say your names but you know who you are you guys replied to my messages so i hope you guys had a good laugh with me i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up um also <laughs> um also if you are new subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications this was a really fun video to make i laughed so much um <laughs> it was really funny so those of you guys who replied to my messages Thank you so much for your input. Thank you guys so much for helping me do this video. I appreciate you guys. You know who you are. So with that being said, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I will see you. Bye guys.